good morning or maybe good evening. In today's video I'm gonna teach you how to build your character in The Witcher 1. Let's get right into it. The Witcher 1 is the type of game that looks complicated, but in reality it's simple. There is four groups on the skill tree, attributes, signs, steel sword, silver sword. For the next part of this video I'm gonna talk about each part of the tree in short. So skip ahead to the one you are interested in, in the timestamps which are in the description. First of all, I need to tell you how to actually gain talents, which is what you use to progress on the skill tree. Bronze talents you will gain by just playing and leveling up, and they are used for attributes of levels 1 to 2. Silver talents are gained from drinking potions, which grant you a mutagen slash talent. They are used for levels 3 to 4, and gold are gained the same way and are used for level 5 attributes. And now I can actually explain what the different attributes are. Sorry for interrupting, quick info. 70% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. It would mean a lot to me if you did, as it shows me that what I do is kinda decent. And some people actually like it. Also I stream here on YouTube right now, it's mainly Witcher 1 so... If you have any further questions about the Witcher, hop into the stream and we can have a chat. Alright, back to the video. The attributes section. There is four trees within this tree. It sounds weird, but that's how it works. There is strength, dexterity, stamina, and intelligence. Each part of this section is important for certain parts of the game. So you might be confused with what you need to do, but don't worry, I'm here to help with that, so let's start with strength. For this section of the tree, I would honestly recommend getting everything, maybe ever from buzz and brawl. It shouldn't be your main focus to finish this tree but it does help a lot because the damage skill is kind of important in my opinion, although some people would disagree. Personally I try to get as much of it done as I can. The reason being, damage in this game is really important even if you don't think it is. That's because the fight system in this game works kind of like some card games. If your damage is higher than the person's defense you're going to land a shot. If not, then you're just not landing your hit. At least that's the fight system in simplified terms. Agility also comes into that, but more about that in the next section. Dexterity. So the main section of, the of dexterity is simply your attack. And that is technically how fast you attack. I know it's kinda name dumb, but that's how it works. My opinion on the majority of this is to try to max out both dexterity and strength tree. You should level them out evenly because in my opinion they are the most important. They provide the basic stats you need to be able to fight and that is why you need to max out strength and dexterity. I was gonna talk about agility. Basically agility is just attack. It means you can land attacks successfully and that's really all that matters. There isn't much to cover in this part. The bottom two attributes of level 1 or 2 are optional. I never bother get them because I don't care about the fist fight championships because of how clunky that feels. And level 1 attribute is good but it does only work at certain times and requires a mutagen. Stamina tree... This one is quite simple. Just get all the stamina levels, they are fairly good, the rest you will have to handpick. The ones I would usually go for is the endurance ones, all of level 2 and altered metabolism. One because it is quite useful, other than that all the other attributes you can read over and see if you will need them. I think this is one of the least important trees apart from the endurance section of it. That's why I'm not gonna go all in detail on this because you can read what things do. I just don't recommend focusing the most on this one. Intelligence, quite important if you use signs. This one is totally up to your playstyle. I do like using signs, hence why I focus on it. All you need to remember is get the herbalism one and probably oils. The bombs I personally don't use, the majority of this tree is all about signs and rituals a tiny bit. So if you don't use that then you can completely drop this part. Although I do think signs are good to use. The ones I focus on is Igni and Quen with a bit of Ard, but more about that later. That's this section done, let's move on to this next section, which is signs. And as I already said, if you are not using signs when you play Witcher, or this is going to be your first playthrough, don't worry about it too much, the main signs are Igni and Ard, and I like to use Quen. Let's get into them with more detail. Ard is the only sign you get at the beginning of the game in Kermoran. Not gonna spoil when or how, because story is fun in this game. With Ard, I would recommend getting at least the first attribute of each level and the second one. 
The other attributes like this arm and that are helpful, but not the most important. Igni I would recommend getting all of the second attributes, unless this is gonna turn into your main sign like mine, then try and max out this tree. But also don't stress about it, just pick up the ones that you find helpful. For me it's damage and incineration at the start, then I just kinda move on from that. Quen. Quen is simply the best sign in the game, hands down. Although I didn't mention that in my Witcher in 2021 video, because not many people use it. It creates a shield around you and if you learn how to use it, it's absolutely OP. Hence why I always try max this out. It's the main sign I focus on and I would recommend everyone to use it, especially if you're playing on hard or normal. Because the opponents deal a lot of damage, you can come onto my stream and see how Quen saves my ass. But basically Quen is gonna just stop all the damage you get given to you and the tree makes it a lot more OP. That's why I would recommend getting it. Axie is kind of like charm in other games. It causes fear if not powered up, and if powered up, it makes the opponent fight on your side. For some people it's good, but I never used it, so I can't really tell you how good it is. As I like to just throw myself into a fight and not allow other people to fight for me, I know some people like it, but if you do end up using it, I would just recommend focusing on Hex, since that's the one that makes the opponents fight for you, and the rest of this I just really don't see a point in. Erden is a magical cage, main use for ghost type monsters. If you do end up looking into it, please tell me when this is useful other than ghosts. I would honestly recommend just picking up the first two levels, and if you have nothing to spend silver talents on, then get on further. But honestly, I just don't see a point of grading this. It's just gonna come in handy when you're fighting monsters that are ghosts, at least in my opinion. But that might be just my game style and other people might actually use it. Steel and silver swords. Yes, I'm grouping these two together, because they have mainly the same things. There isn't much choice with these. You are kind of forced to get the first two levels of each tree at least, because that's how the fight system works. I generally would recommend fast style more, but that's personal preference. All things are needed and you don't have much freedom in how to build up that area. The main thing to know is focus on precise hit and make sure you hit your opponent. For those that don't know, steel swords are for humans, animal and silver is for monsters. Equipment is a part that lacks a bit in this game. You can't really have specialized equipment like in TW2 or TW3, which is a pain since there is only three sets of armor in this game from memory, and one of them only available in one of the last chapters. I honestly just do not recommend changing your silver sword at all, same with armor, since there really isn't any. I would honestly just recommend picking up Moonblade at the end of the game from the Huntsman, which I will make a video on. As for the steel sword, you can pick up Harvel from a dead body in the swamps in chapter 2 and 3. It's not the better swords for a while and I'd recommend getting it. Thanks for watching and if you want a video on the alchemy in this game, let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful in any way, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and commenting on what I should do next. Also, don't forget to subscribe to not miss future content. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Other than that, Thank you for watching and good luck on your path.